Hey guys, this is Gail with Check This Gadget, and today I'm going to show you some helpful task applications that you can find in the Apple Store that are free. So I'm going to touch on three different types today. We have the application called Task, the application called Short List, and the application To Do Light. Um, basically, your Short List, this is a nice, handy dandy, basic old to do task list. You know, simple to the point. Not complex as far as putting in a due date, um, a priority, all those type of things. This is just your basic task list and basically just writing it down, checking it off. Um, in this free version here, you get three different screens, a max of three different screens, in which you can have up to seven items, one each, so a total for 21 items. And you can just have different, your three different calendars. They do have a paid app in which you can have up to 10 different lists if you want to get their uh, upgraded version of that. This is just a simple to-do list. You press the plus, you know, you type something, done, there's a task, you get rid of it, exit out, that deletes it, and, uh, you know, as simple as that. You can rearrange as far as which order you want to have your task in. But it's a nice, simple to-do list that gets the job done. So I would highly recommend that if you just need something to help remind yourself. Just a good old, simple, plain to-do list. Let's go over to to-do light. This is also the free version. Um, in the paid version, you can get more calendars. Basically, this allows you to have three different calendars here, as you can see. If I try to add another one, it will give me the limited reach. Um, as far as this version but that's okay so as I say you can have three different calendars this also shows you if you have set the date for things that's going to be due this week as a tab you can select to see all your different tests that's due this week from each category the ones that's due today and then if you want to see all of them see all of them and then over here it has exactly which category you have it under to just take you in a little further you have uh, the action in which you can select one of those items there what uh, type it is, a checklist, a project select your priority, which calendar you want to be on select the due date, audio if you like to record audio and you can add a note to it also so this is a good calendar if you or one of the type that likes to be detailed and have due dates and priorities and you know a little more than your simple to-do list get out of there and um, you delete it, done it once it's done it has a little pencil that scratches it out and you can always you know undo it if you want to so this is a handy dandy app if you like those type of details. And then we have the application called Task. Um, this is the one I start to use. I really prefer this one. I like this one a lot. It allows you to have different categories. As you can see, these little red numbers here state how many different tasks you have under each category. So if we just select on one, um, it shows my two different tasks that I have under this uh, consider uh, this category here. You can just tap to add. It's very simple. Enter a task and cancel it out. Okay, there you go. When you want to delete it, you can just swipe, delete, swipe, delete, and there you go. As far as edit, you can edit these as far as which way you want to have them and deleting it out. Just press done. I don't know why it does that for some reason sometimes, but it, as you can see, it goes back to how the regular text is. Um, so you can select where you can see all your different lists from under your categories, under all your categories, and then as you check off items off your to-do list, go to my video projects, and uh, check something, check a few, you know, you can see it changes the numbers. Earlier that was four, now it has two, if I go back. You can go back and unselect. And now it's showing three. 
So, it keeps track uh, as far as how many tasks you have done and what tasks you have not completed. And that's nice to let you know in which category how many tasks you have to complete. So, that is the three task applications that are uh, handy that are free. And uh, I would recommend that you take a look at those. I would recommend if you're a detailed person as far as like in detail tasks, do the to-do light or the uh, payable version. If you just need a simple reminder to write down stuff, do the short list. It's very nice and handy. Or if you like to have different categories, but also keep that simple, like from the to-do list. Uh, I mean, like from the short list, keep it simple as far as the task, but have different categories. I would recommend tasks. All right, checking out. This is Gail with Check This Gadget. Subscribe and check out for future videos.